Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Beda Kamal. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Gunanstri and if you have any queries related to the accommodation, onboarding and as well as laptop collection, I have already done the video so please do check it out, I will give the link in the description. And one thing I want to say is, I know that most of my subscribers are from Telugu and the main reason taking this video in English is, in Accenture organization, lot of people work who come from different regions, who has different regional languages. So the common language everyone can understand is English so is the reason behind taking this video in English only so to my Telugu subscribers if you want me to do this video in Telugu then please let me know in comment section if I get at least 15 to 20 comments then I definitely do this video in Telugu too and one more thing is if you feel this video is somewhat informative then don't go just watching this video please give a like button and do subscribe to my channel and that's the one and only request from my side and that's it and coming to our topic I think you guys have already know what I'm going to speak in this video yes it's about the primers exam which is the most important exam in the Accenture so without waiting any late let's get into the video into our topic primers most of the people has many questions like what is primers what is the syllabus and when will the exam be conducted and what are the bonus amount we are going to take after this examination what happens if you fail in this exam so all these questions I want to clear it out in this video so don't skip this video and watch till end. first and basic questions what is primers primers is nothing but your exam that is you are going to write after you onboarding so that's it so primers is nothing but it is an exam so second one is when will the exam conducted exam is conducted after 10 to 14 days after your onboarding and the third question is what is the syllabus for this exam i think you guys have already know that lkm will provide modules before your onboarding i think there are six modules in which four are same for everyone and two you should have to choose based on your interest like python java and everything and based on that modules only you will get the questions in your primers and nothing but that is the syllabus for you this what topics you chose during your lki modules that's become the syllabus for this examination and that's about the syllabus and coming to the fourth one what is the past percentage of the primers exam so for these questions literally guys i should have to explain very clearly that in this process the first step is primers exam in primers exam you should have to achieve at least 60 percentage of marks Basically, the paper contains 20 questions and each question carries one mark that is for 20 marks. So, you should have to get at least 60 percentage, then you should have to get at least 12, 12 or above. Now, you have completed your primers exam and after 2 days from the primers exam, the stream is allocated for you. And now, we are going to know what is MCQ1 and MCQ2. So, after this stream training has started, I think there are two models, model 1 and model 2, like 3 months training and 6 months training also. In this training, you are going to write two examinations, one is MCQ1 and one is MCQ2. In our childhood, there will be quarterly and hourly. So, in the same way, we are going to write MCQ1 and MCQ2. So, in the MCQ1, there are 40 questions, each question carries half mark. And in this exam also, you should have to get minimum marks. And the MCQ2 also in the same manner there are 40 questions each question carries half mark and, uh, and here the most important one is timers MCQ1 and MCQ2 combinedly you should get the 60 percentage of marks that is I think you guys are understanding right then if you get less marks in the primers also nothing bothers you don't worry about that but you should have to score more marks in the mcq1 and mcq2 that is combinedly you should have to get 60 percentage only but my suggestion is prepare well for the primers because primers exam is somewhat easy compared to the mcq1 and mcq2 and yes you have achieved 60 percentage from these both primers and mcq1 and mcq2 and now what is the next process next one is hands-on Hands-on is nothing but an interview, you should have to give a hands-on and in this also you should have to get at least 60 percentage and as you have cleared all the primers, MCQ1, MCQ2 and the hands-on and let a word and as you became the part of the Accenture now, still now you are not part of the Accenture, just you are in the training itself. If you cleared all this, then only you became the part of the Accenture, then only you will get the project. 
you may have a doubt what will happen if you get less than 60 percentage in the hands on or less than 60 percentage in the combined like primers mcq1 and mcq2 so for this question and ICJ will provide you and the two chances that is apart from this you can write the examination for and the two times so for this you should have to attend all the primers mcq1 and mcq2 at a time that is uh, before you are going to write everything separately but now you should have to attempt all over one time so it's somewhat very difficult so try to complete in the beginning only it is so easy and later on all will be difficult if you cleared all these three in the second your choice you will go to the hands on and that's it what if you fail in the second attempts also you can also have a third attempt if you failed in third attempt too then you can pack your bags and that's it so what happened hands on that there is another category like you passed out all the primers but you have failed only in the hands-on then in this condition you will have only the hands-on again here also there are two chances you can have the second attempt and have the third attempt in third attempt also you can't able to complete the hands-on then you have to pack the bags and that's it so my suggestion is give more importance to primers try to score more marks in the primers and uh, try to complete in the first attempt only because later on it will be difficult for you so that's it you guys have a much clarity about what is primers and what is the percentage you should have to get during your primers examination and that's the most important topic of video and the final one is what is the bonus amount you are going to take after your primers examination this question I have previously discussed that primers exam is for 20 marks. If you get 15 or 15 plus, then 10,000 bonus is credited to your account, and the amount you will receive, I think, in the third month salary, it will be credited to you. And that's it, guys. I think I have explained very clearly about the primers assessment. Uh, what is primers? What is the syllabus you are going to have? What is the bonus amount you are going to take? What is MCQ1 and MCQ2? What percentage you should have to get? And these questions I have cleared everything in this video. And again, to my Telugu subscribers, if you want me to do this video in Telugu, so please let me know in the comment section. Then I will definitely do this video. And that's it. And if you think this video is somewhat informative, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Thank you.